Namaste, this is Amita Menon from Helium once again. Today I'm going to be sharing a beautiful, simple and miraculous prayer that came into my life in the year 2012. I had not experienced its efficacy till a good friend of mine by the name Raj Mali, who's a leadership coach and a shamanic healer, reintroduced it to me when a friend of mine who was diagnosed with uh, cancer and was undergoing treatment uh, needed some healing and I started practicing this healing at that particular period of time and ever since it's become a very integral part of my healing practice. It is a wonderful technique and uh, it is very popular across the world. Uh, so do stay with me till the end of the video. You will get to know more about the details of this practice. The name of the practice is Ho Oponopono. The Ho Oponopono practice immediately attracted me to it because it had, it kind of resonated with the with our Indian wisdom. Uh, the practice consists of four phrases which you repeatedly use and uh, it brings about a certain shift within yourself. And uh, our Indian mantras and the Indian prayers that we have also work in a very similar fashion. So we have Indian mantras which we repeatedly use and uh, we use for different uh, things in our lives. The Ho Oponopono practice is a very similar kind of practice which is uh, means, actually it means, the Ho word means uh, to make and Pono means right. And it means uh, when you repeat it, it's to make doubly right. And uh, it uh, works on your thoughts. It basically works on how to erase erroneous thoughts. And uh, we, we all know that thoughts uh, go on to make us act. And uh, the actions then finally create the uh, external scenario that we are in. Uh, so what it does basically is uh, helps us to understand that we are actually responsible for the world that we create. Now this is a little bit difficult, it's a difficult thing for many of us to kind of absorb and uh, actually acknowledge because most of us like to uh, pass the buck, most of us like to believe that somebody else is at fault and very uh, rarely do we acknowledge that we are also responsible for something that is manifesting in my external universe. And here it is exactly that, here you are starting with the acknowledgement of uh, yourself where you are taking responsibility for everything that is appearing in your physical reality as uh, your experience and uh, starting there with the practice of the uh, forgiveness prayer. The whole open open prayer consists of four simple phrases. The phrases are I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and I thank you. This is all it it is. It's very simple. You may ask the question, but who am I saying it to? And uh, it's very simple. It is a little bit uh, also uh, subtle what is happening because unless you experience it, you're not going to be able to say it is working for you. So what happens is I want to first of all start by acknowledging the work of Joe Vitali. Joe Vitali is a very well-known doctor who's worked in this uh, particular space and who's written two books. One book by the name of Zero Limits and the second, the sequel, is at zero. Where he is basically spoken about the whole open open practice and his own experience with it and uh, how it came into his life and then how he's brought it out to us. And we have to really thank him for bringing it out to the world because uh, if it wasn't for him, I think many of us wouldn't have known how it actually worked. So I want to acknowledge uh, his work, his books. Also want to share with you how he experienced it. So he was basically researching this particular practice and uh, he and his colleague met the doctor, Dr. Hyo Lin, who was a Hawaiian doctor who was working with a bunch of uh, mentally, challenged, mentally uh, afflicted criminals. And uh, he was asked to work uh, uh, in a psych ward, uh, you know, and uh, help to, uh, you know, kind of give them therapy. 
and there were many doctors who were approached but they were not uh, uh, you know not uh, wanting to work with these people because they were really a, a very difficult set of mentally afflicted criminals and uh, when dr hugh lin took up the case he decided that he would use his own practice to help them and that's when he started working on these people in a very different fashion he did not do any uh, talk therapy or he didn't have any personal interactions with them he would take the case studies and he would sit with each of these case studies in a different room and use uh, this particular practice because when he picked up a case study it would bring up a certain uh, emotion or a feeling uh, within him and he took responsibility for that and he started using this particular uh, four uh, phrases and uh, started working on these cases and they found in a short while that these difficult cases were beginning to show you know a shift in the way they were behaving and the way they were uh, basically uh, you know getting treated and uh, soon a uh, few of them got to go home and very soon many of them from the group started to get fully better in a short while uh, we also found out that the ward was closed and people got to go home completely healed of their problems so this was the case study that uh, that dr jo vitale has written about and it is it is something that is completely uh, mind blowing i mean it is a huge uh, modality that anyone can use to bring about shifts in their lives i mean where you don't really need to go there and do anything but you pick up that particular situation or the scenario and see what it what it's doing within your within you so basically taking responsibility for a situation which is out of your control but you know that it is uh, making you feel in a particular way so for as an example i can pick up a relationship which is not going to well in my own life and i say oh this is not going to well i'm not very happy about the way he is treating me or she is treating me but uh, i check in with my own emotion and i say that when the person is treating me a particular way i feel certain anxiety or i feel anger or whatever and i start working on that emotion uh, for myself with these four phrases so i say that i'm sorry for the way i'm feeling i don't know uh, any other way to deal with this particular thing i'm really up you know i i'm really sorry about it and i'm speaking to the divine i'm speaking to the source of life i'm not speaking to that person that is treating me in a particular way so i'm speaking to the divine and i'm telling the divine i don't know any other way i am uh, uh, helpless at this point of time and i apologize for that i'm really sorry about it and i want you to forgive me i want to uh, Uh, be forgiven for the way i'm feeling because i don't know how to respond in a better way and maybe i need to know that better way to respond in so i'm asking for forgiveness at this point of time and i want to also tell you that i love you i love you for giving me life i love you for putting me on this earth and helping me to experience whatever it is that i need to experience and uh, i want to thank you as well and this is the way you start with that particular practice and then it you know you kind of find that there's a whole lot of stuff that is getting cleansed from within and uh, it requires continuous practice it is not like a magic uh, mantra that you say once and then you're completely fine and everything in your life gets uh, resolved it is not like that please understand that it needs to be practiced regularly in a very very uh, Uh, internal in like internalizing it going with it understanding how what is coming up for you and uh, uh, you know actually releasing and cleansing that stuff that is coming up and layer by layer you will find that it is kind of uh, getting cleansed and you will find that you are completely feeling okay about that particular situation which was earlier creating some unnecessary problems for you you will find that it is completely gone from your life and uh, you will also find that slowly that external situation is also getting resolved with your internal uh, uh, system getting shifted or that emotion or feeling getting shifted you will find that the external thing is also getting resolved that is the magic of it that is how it works 
so do i want to give it to you as my second challenge my first challenge was the 30 day gratitude challenge i don't know how many of you are doing it but i'm giving you this as a challenge to experience for yourself i'm not saying that i you know that it works i'm saying pick it up as a challenge and see if it is working on pick up any small thing in your life which is not worked and uh, use it as a challenge to uh, make that internal transformation for yourself thank you for staying till the end of my video it was a very brief video on the ho oponopono practice uh, i'm going to be bringing two more videos on the same topic which will help you to uh, work on the actual practice as well as a meditation uh, video on the ho oponopono phraseology uh, do keep uh, watching the videos on helium by subscribing to my channel and by pressing on the bell icon so that you get an early update on all the uploads that i'm doing thank you so much keep watching helium